A bad drug trade sinks this stock. Hello, fellow traders everywhere. Adam Hewison here, co-founder of Market Club, with your midday market update for Friday, the 17th of February. Here's our number one trading tip. Don't fight the market. Move with the market. If a weekly closing occurs in the April crude oil over 103.38, that'll be a new high weekly closing, and it'll be very, very positive. We're also going to be looking at three stocks today. It's a three-day weekend, but we'll look at three stocks. Zions Bancorp, Z-I-O-N, or Z if you're in Australia, and Gilead Sciences, symbol G-I-L-D, and Freight Car America, symbol R-A-I-L. How did trade triangles, how did Markov's trade triangles do with these three stocks? We'll take a look at those right now. But let's go to our portfolio and start looking at these stocks right now. So here we are. Zions Bancorp. Well, we have a plus 100, which is a good sign. Click there. And you can see we actually got long this market actually yesterday. How coincidental is that? At 19.02, the market's trading at 20.01, so you've already made uh, a little bit of profits on that. And you can see it's up today 4.43%. So this is where the trade triangles really come in. We've been long this market, as you can see on the monthlies, 1851. And all of our symbols are very positive. You can see right here, 1851, 1902, and then 1698. You don't want to use the dailies. This is the one right here with stocks. You want to use the weeklies for timing and the monthlies for trading. So that's what you want to look at. Let's go to our next market. This has been a big surprise to a lot of people today. Now, you may remember this company bought, spent a lot of money to buy this drug, and it just didn't prove out well so far. But look. Even though we had a signal today at 47.02, and the market's currently trading at lower levels, currently trading at 46.54, we actually were long from 42. So even coming out, we're still going to make a good 10% or more on our money on this trade. Again, timing is everything, and the trade trial is going to help you in timing. So this is, once again, this is Galeed Sciences, and they had this drug they purchased uh, for a lot of money or they thought it was a stage three trials, didn't work out, boom, look what happened. Now, aren't you glad you weren't long from right up here? You would have just taken it on the chin today. And that's not how we trade. You want to get in when the markets develop and start. And this is where the Market Club monthly trade triangles really shine. So let's go to our next market. And that's going to be Freight Car America, symbol R-A-I-L. Here's a just starting, 24.44. 25.92 is the last trade. It was a symbol, it was a buy today, and that's definitely, it opened at 24.40, so you could have bought it right on the opening, and you'd be sitting with a nice profit on this market, and you've got a nice energy base here to push this market higher. Again, it's all about timing, and that's where you really shine in these markets. So let's go to our next market. Next market we're looking at is the S&P 500 cash, and again, this market continues to move up, 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 up. How high can it go? Well. We hit the 1360 level, which is our first target zone, but we think we'll go to 1370, 1380 on this market. But I want to look at the Dow as well because the Dow is very close to, uh, let me just go close this up. The Dow is very close to going to the, well, let's just put it in because I don't have it there right now. So let's just um, put that stock in. Oh, that's index in, so it's very simple to do. I'm just going to put Dow. And I want to look under the indexes. And this is, it's always great if you don't know what uh, this is. Uh, you can get the, uh, get the symbol you need for all these things here. So there you go. It's going to be coming in very soon. And if you don't have it here, it's just easy to find out. So let me just do one thing really quickly. And obviously, I moved this thing somewhere along the line here. And... If you have, this one I want to show you actually more. So if you have it in another index, you want to move something around, you just grab hold of it and drag it over to whichever portfolio you want. It's just that simple. So that's, the, that's what I really wanted to show you. So let's go back to that portfolio. And you can see there's the Dow Jones DJI is the symbol. I'm going to move it right up here, just under there. And what I want to show you with the Dow, which is plus 100, very strong, I want to just get my Telestrator on here and show you this. So I'm going to put my Telestrator on, and I'll show you what I'm looking at in the Dow. Here's, here's one of the, the levels I thought 
it's kind of energy fields we look at. You've heard us talk about energy fields before. So just moving over here, you can see the market is a nice little kind of head and shoulders base, but this is energy field. This targets up to about 13,200. Now we're currently trading at 12,932, so we're only about 60, 70 points away from 13,000. Anyway, I think there's a good chance it's a three day weekend. I think there's a p potentials there that we can see the market uh, go higher. Normally on three day weekends, you've got people who are nervous, long and short, so it can go really either way. But nonetheless, the trend is clearly up. We have our monthly trade triangles on a positive mode, our weekly on a positive mode, and our daily on a positive mode. So everything is plus, 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 and plus 100, which is a very, very good sign. You've got your energy field here. It's a head and shoulders. So this will be the left shoulder, the head, and the right shoulder would be right here. So again, this is to me, targets the 13,200 level on the Dow. So that's something to look at. And it may not happen today. It may happen in a month from now. But that's generally still a target zone we have on the upside. So let's go to our next market. And this is the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ is also sharply higher for the week, uh, a little bit lower for the day. It's had a pretty good run. So, But the trend in all the equity markets, plus 90, is just another strong score for this market. And let's look at silver. Silver is not so fortunate. Silver is lower for the week. And uh, we can just get the chart up here in a second. And while we're waiting, I tell you, while we're waiting for that, let's go to the gold market as well. That's probably coming. They're going to come up because uh, the situation with the metals is really not that. Oh, you know what? I think is a. Well, let's try this. This may be a memory thing on the computer here. We just we've gone through a lot, and uh, my tech person, Jeremy, who you all know, has gone away. He's sick. Actually, he's not gone away. He's sick. So let's just close this up here. And let's see if we can find the crude oil, which is really what I want to show you. Here's the crude oil. And this is the definitely the key level. We're currently trading at 103.40. 103.38 is the key level we want to look at right now. If we close at 103.38 or higher, it'll be a new high weekly close. Let me explain to you what I mean by that. We're plus 90, very strong trend. And I go down to a weekly chart, and I scope this out a little further. And let's take all these trade triangles off. And this is what I wanted to show you, share with you. That's This right here is the highest close, 103.38. Now, if you haven't seen our special report that we did, that we put online last night around 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, you may want to check that out. It's just below this post. But nonetheless, the market is beginning to look very positive. It just traded again 103.41, uh, very positive to the upside. Uh, again, over the 103.30, I'd love to see this close over 103.50. That would that to me would be extremely positive. But we're looking for this market to go uh, up to about the 120 level, 125 level, because here's the account we uh, clicked in right here, and I'm going to put this on a, uh, a line chart because that's really a better solution. So here's the, you can see if we close there, it's going to close over that level. And this gives you that really good energy field. That we, you know, you've heard us talk about energy fields. Not only you have that, that you have the monthly and the weekly kicking in, uh, which is still positive on there. So let's just, uh, let me just take this off for a second. It's getting a little confusing. And but the weekly kicked in, and I'll show you that on the daily in a second. But the, the reality is you've got a very, very nice base here. Uh, which is, uh, let me just take that off there. But you've got this nice base that we look for, and, and you can see this whole thing is just, just really beginning to, to scope out. And this is the neckline right here. And we've actually, if we close this week over the level I just mentioned to you, certainly the 50 level, the 103.50 level is 103.41 now. We close up here, then I think that we were on our way to the 120, 125 target zone, a barrel. That's going to put gas over $5 a barrel. So nothing to look forward to, but the reality is the market has been, it's been very, very cyclical, and it's showing this pattern. Watch the video we did just on crude oil. It's in our blog, and you can get to vote as well. So 
Let's go to our next market. Let's clear the screen and uh, see what else. I really uh, the, these are the major markets I want to go through anyway. So let's just go back to the portfolio. You've seen the, the, the stocks we talked about. Let's take a look at the dollar index, which is not very, uh, it's kind of like in a trading range right now. And uh, you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, that's the weekly. I want to go into the daily. Boom. See, it's pretty easy to do with market. You just click around, just gets you where you want to be. There's the, so you can see this basically we're sort of in this sort of zone. The longer term still positive, but we've got a plus 60. It's a trading range, not much going on there. We were very overbought there for a while. We've come back down. Now it looks to me like you're going to see this market just sort of trot around uh, without any clear direction. This weekend, this, uh, this is going to be a final solution for the Greek problem. I'm not sure I'm going to buy that, but uh, we'll certainly take a look and see. I'm going to see if I can do an update tomorrow for you. And uh, we'll take, we'll be looking at some other markets, and certainly we're looking at all these markets on a weekly basis to see where they close. But look for some 52-week highs. This week could be a perfect week to do because everything's going well that way. Look at the crude oil at 103.38, and I'll close over there. And look at some of these other markets. You can also trade the USO, which is what we've been advocating here if you don't like to trade futures. So, hey, this is Adam Hewis, and I'm going to be back tomorrow. But in the meantime, if you'd like to have one-on-one -on -one market club coaching, and find out if it's right for you, hey, give us a call, 877-219-1482. Again, the call is free, the consultation is free, and who knows, it could just be, could make that big difference in your personal trading. I'm Adam Hewison for Market Club. I'll see you tomorrow with an update. Have a great trading day.